Hey, I'm Scythian, and welcome to another Star Citizen tutorial. Today we're going over ship customization. Upgrading components can vastly change a ship's performance, mainly in combat. However, some people just want faster quantum travel, less overheating, and so on. Our first stop is at a ship component store, where we're going to pick up some parts. I'm currently at the Dumpers Depot located in Area 18, However, there are multiple locations throughout the system. There is a fantastic Excel spreadsheet put together by members of the community that was posted on Reddit, which we will briefly go over in this video. I will post the link in the description down below. The last time it was updated was patch 3.8, however it still contains a ton of relevant information. They break down where to find each item or ship dealer and what is available at said location. And while some of this has changed, at least it'll point you in the right direction for most items. So naturally, your first step would be to buy the items you want to put on your ship. Heading inside and communicating with the terminal, we are met with a ton of options, varying in size and grade. These will not all work with every ship, and worse off, the items don't even contain the stats needed to make an informed decision. This can get quite confusing to new players. For me, I like to start by customizing my ship on the Urkel calculator. Forgive me if I'm butchering that name. Here we can select the items based on their stats. This is extremely helpful in planning a build to fit your playstyle instead of just guessing with trial and error in game. Now naturally people just want to pick everything with the highest stats, but I want to give you a few warnings against doing so. First being the price. Some of these items can get pretty expensive and you will not have enough AUEC at first to obtain everything you have selected. You will also want to watch the power and cooling numbers to ensure your ship can handle the parts you've picked. There will still be some trial and error involved as sometimes picking all the best parts causes the ship to overheat easily even when it looks great on paper, or more specifically the site. There have been many times where I've upgraded my ship to its max potential and it just overheats every 30 seconds or so depending on what I'm doing. This may have been glitches in previous patches, or there could have been more hidden variables that this calculator doesn't see. And lastly is fuel consumption. Some ships do not have big enough fuel tanks to handle the best engines available to them. This is definitely something you want to pay attention to. I'd rather fly just a tad bit slower and not have to refuel mid-trip, or worse, even two or three times a trip. Once we've selected our components, we can head over to the previously mentioned Excel spreadsheet. This will show us where to buy each component we've selected, as well as the price it will cost at each available location. So let's say we want to rush Quantum Drive. Select the Quantum Drive tab at the bottom, locate the Rush Drive, and check the price per available location. In this case, it's available at both Port Olazar and Area 18's Dumpers Depot, where we're currently located. Another thing to consider when upgrading your ship is weapon sizing. If you prefer fixed weapons playstyle, then you have the luxury of removing the gimbals and purchasing one weapon size bigger. For example, if your ship has max size 2 guns when on gimbals, then you can upgrade to size 3 guns without gimbals. Now that we have our components, let's go ahead and customize our ship. Press F2 and go to the Vehicle Loadout Manager. Select your ship in the top right corner, and then select the tab you would like to change parts in. Once we're done customizing our ship, we will press Save Changes and we're done. In the current alpha state of the game, a reclaimed ship will retain the changed parts. However, when the full game is released, the current plan is that losing a ship means losing its custom parts. Insurance only saves the base ship. They may come out with parts insurance and so forth, but that's a decision for way later in the future. And that's it for our ship customization tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Have a good one and stay safe in the verse.